Hello, World Race family. Um, I know I look rough right now, so I'm sorry. But I know y'all are going to see me looking a lot worse than this. So I was like, oh, well, here I am. But, um, first of all, this is my second time to make this video. So I might be more awkward than normal because I'm going to have to remember what I said in the last video. And... I don't know because I, the first video I recorded, all of a sudden I was talking in my normal tone of voice, and then all of a sudden it tr it like goes down like this. But it something was wrong with the re the recorder, voice recorder on my web camera. I guess I don't know. It's weird. But um, yeah, I wanted to just record this and ask all of y'all to be lifting me up and praying for me because I've been sick since Halloween and I've been like getting over it. But, this past week when I was home for Thanksgiving, I started, or I've gotten like a really bad cough since then. And I've been on a lot of antibiotics. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm not like, but my chest is like really broken out. Because, supposedly, I'm having some kind of reaction from my antibiotics, from all the yeast. And it's like making my skin break out. And I have like, looks like I have chicken pox like all over my back and chest and my arms and stuff. So, if I would be praying for just complete healing for me and just for everyone because I think it's just an attack method against us to, you know, we're busy. I know everyone's probably busy getting stuff ready for just the holidays and fundraising and I'm in school and stuff and I don't have time to be sick. Like, I don't know. I'm like, Satan, get out of my way because I don't have time for this. Like, quit playing these games. God's going to take care of me. Anyways. Um, yeah. So if y'all would just be praying for that. And also the reason I was doing a video is because on one of my earlier posts. I don't know if it was my video blog or um, my like written blog on my page or whatever. But I was talking about how I needed a stuffed animal because I sleep with my dog and I just don't sleep alone. And... So, this weekend, or this week when I was home for Thanksgiving, I found it. And it is the cutest thing ever. This is Cupcake the Hippo. And look, this is why he's so amazing. He has a little cupcake that hides in his mouth. And, um... Cupcake was my is my best friend, Dakota's stuffed animal, and I've wanted it forever. She's had it for probably like two years, and I've always wanted it. She never let me have it. She's like, no, I love Cupcake. And so when I was looking for a stuffed animal for the race, she told me that I can have Cupcake, and I can just remember her three little Cupcakes, so I'm excited. But... Me and my best friend are really weird and goofy, and for some reason she calls Cupcake Pupcake, and so that's what I have to call him. And um, I'm also supposed to be, when I'm missing my best friend's wedding, which is sad, um, I have to put Pupcake in a wedding dress, so I'll have to pack that, I guess. But anyways, <clears throat> yeah, I'm trying to think what else I talked about in that video. Oh, also, something else I want y'all to lift up. I don't know. I feel like World Racers, y'all are probably on my same page about this, but maybe not. I know some guys get mad about girls helping because they think it's dangerous. But um, yesterday, I picked up a homeless man off the side of the road, and I gave him a ride to a couple towns over from mine. And his name was Mark. He's a very nice guy. And this morning... I actually got to take him to a hotel. He had money and stuff, and he offered to buy me dinner. He offered to buy me gas, all this stuff. Like, he was very nice, and um, this morning, I was supposed to be going back to that town to take him farther because I was going to go to church, like, an hour away from where my home is, and I told him that I could pick him up on my way to church, take him to wherever he needed to go in the next town. But... Uh, I wasn't able to do that because I've been really sick, which I already feel so much better, praise God for that, than I did this morning, but I could not even stay awake this morning. I was just so exhausted and feeling horrible, but I wasn't able to do that, and I called 
the number I had for Mark and he didn't answer and then he called me back later and I wasn't on my phone and so it's sort of like a phone tag thing and I don't know I feel bad that I wasn't able to get him and y'all would just pray for him and lift him up and just that his like situation gets better and that he finds work and just a place to stay and just I don't know it's so awesome though y'all because he was so encouraging to me he was totally on board with the Holy Spirit and just the Holy Spirit working through people, which is awesome because I have people at my home church here in Florence that are not even at all on board with the Holy Spirit, and they just don't mention it, and they just don't embrace that power. And I mean, I think there's a lot of people out there that don't do that, but it's like this is just some homeless man off the side of the road who's sitting here talking to me about how all these people he's encountered that have um, helped him and how they're just so full of the spirit and all this stuff and I was just like praise God that is awesome you know like he thinks I'm helping him but he's helping me too he's such an encouragement but I mean that's awesome and um, I don't know just keep marking your prayers if y'all don't mind and just every all of us I think that I don't know, recently something sick made me realize that um, I need to be praying for our team more and more just like, I don't know, I need to be on top of that and praying for everyone's help and just everyone's fundraising right now and because um, I think that Satan's definitely going to use our help as a way to attack us because I know, well I know that's definitely the way he's going to use me because that's one of the things that my family is like worried about me going on this trip is because I'm not the healthiest person. I'm like the weakest link. But <laughs> I know that God's going to give me the strength. He called me to do this. I know that he's going to give me the strength to get through it and I'm going to be fine. And I've totally got it under control. But Or he's got it under control. I don't at all. But I need to <coughs> also be sure he's going to take care of me now. And, um, which I am, but just prayerful about that and just all of our helps. And, um, I hope I didn't mention this twice, but I might have because I know I mentioned it in the last video. But, um, another thing that I was going to tell y'all, another idea, because I'm all about some ideas, even though y'all probably thought of this or maybe not. Um, or y'all may be really ahead of me in fundraising and already sent all your support letters, but I haven't sent out my support letters yet and... What I'm doing is my small group from church, we're actually meeting and praying over each individual letter. And we're going to separate them throughout the group and pray for each individual person, like on letters. And just ask God to open their hearts and just be ready to use them. And giving them a giving heart and just making them able, financially able to support me and just help them to stick to praying for me and our team and all this stuff. So, I definitely think that's a good idea because I'm excited. I know that God's going to use those letters in a huge way, and I can't wait to see how he does it. But, um, I see that I'm talking for a really long time. I look really gross. Like I said, I'm sorry I look so gross, but I am sick. And my mom broke our water heater tonight, so that should be interesting. I have to go somewhere else, take a shower, which when you're sick, you don't even leave your house. And now I'm going to have to go to some random person or not a random person I'll find a friend but go to their house and shower but anyways yeah sorry I look so gross and maybe this video won't like morph my voice into sounding like a man like the last one did but I will talk to y'all later I love you all and I'm gonna be praying for all of you and I'll definitely keep you up to date on all the awesome things God does turning my health around and just doing awesome things through the support letters and the financial support of the race. But I love y'all, and I hope y'all have a blessed week. Bye, y'all.